to me, long-term ketamine use would be like a daily, you know, uh, daily um, administration. So one of the big reasons, uh, two reasons why I think uh, there would be a concern if that's the case is, number one, it's metabolized by the liver. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily hepatotoxic, uh, which means that it destroys the liver, but it's metabolized by the liver. There was one study that came out um, uh, many years ago that said that ketamine can be hepatotoxic. That study has never been repeated. That study, study has never been validated. Um, and that study was also, I believe, in um, you know, very high levels in rats. So you know, take it for what it's worth. Um, it is not like acetaminophen, which acetaminophen can be hepatotoxic by di directly you know, affecting the liver and destroying the liver. So I, I, think, um, I think part of it is uh, maybe, maybe a little misunderstanding on the drug. Uh, a lot of physicians don't really understand it. Um, you know, the ones that have heard of it have seen this one article and they're all freaked out by it. A lot of them don't understand the mechanism. Um, but that being said, uh, you know, we don't uh, quite know what uh, the person who asked the question, how much they're on, how much they're taking, and um, I think probably the bigger question should be, should you, you, should you even be on that much? You know, are you causing more damage to your nerves, which I think is probably a, more of a possibility than patotoxicity, is neurotoxicity from taking too much and inhibiting, inhibiting the NMDA receptors, thus not allowing them to function in a proper way.